This is News Channel 8 at 5.30 on your side. I felt like either the mom was going to get hurt or she was going to hurt someone else. I didn't think she was going to hurt her own family. We are learning more tonight about a Tampa mother who's accused of strangling her daughter to death. Good evening, everyone. I'm Josh Benson. And I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. Yesterday, police announced the teen's mother was facing a first-degree murder charge. News Channel 8's Alessandra Young joins us live from Tampa with an update on the story. Alessandra. Josh and Jen, the 18-year-old victim, managed to call 911 for help. But, however, that call was disconnected. Officers say that they found her in critical condition and that she died two days later. That's, I can't, I can't imagine that. It's just crazy because it's like, hey, you, you brought her into this world and you took her out. During the early hours on May 11th, police say they got a call from Natavia Sanders saying her mother had strangled her. They say the incident happened here on East 23rd Avenue. They say she told them she had, quote, just woke up from being passed out. End quote. Police say the mother, Rotisha Silvius, wasn't cooperating when they arrived. And after a brief struggle, she was charged with resisting an officer with violence and aggravated battery with great bodily harm. Jamarcus Hudley works in the area and says earlier that day, Silvius was acting strange. Yeah, very weird. Like, out of ordinary, she was, like, outside screaming. Most definitely how she was at there, I felt like either the mom was going to get hurt or she was going to hurt someone else. I didn't think she was going to hurt her own family. Hudley says there was a huge police presence lining the street. You could not get from right there to right there. You could not cross right here. Police say they tried to give Sanders CPR after finding her on the kitchen floor unresponsive. She was rushed to the hospital where she died on May 13th. Silvius's charges have been upgraded to first degree murder. It took me by surprise, to be honest. Uh, I never really thought, you know, nobody, no one would think nothing would ever happen like that. But, yeah, since I've been here, it wasn't nothing. I didn't hear any screaming or no fighting or anything. A pre-trial detention hearing is scheduled for the mother for tomorrow. Live in Tampa, Alessandra Young, 8 on your side.